Hi there! Welcome back to Let's Play Frontier Pilot Simulator. We're at uh, Port Estel, I believe. And we're about to lift off with a full storage compartment of water. Well, not full, but it's six tons of it. That's, that's not little. And we have 200 kilometers to go to Quarry M&T. Let's see if we can make it in one go. Probably going to be difficult without stopping first because the engines are powerful but we have to lift off in VTOL mode here we have to get some speed up before we can change to flight mode come on a little bit more I need 150 meters a second okay fine let's see if that's good And the cyclone is nowhere to be seen, by the way. We were warned about a cyclone incoming last time, and I don't see it now. So we're going full speed. Full power. As high as possible. Yeah! Power! I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure that we will, uh... Oh, oh, gotta... Gotta stop climbing. That we'll get, a. Uh, lower ski level soon so reduce our power we don't need that much there we go lovely so now we have a range of 340 kilometers which is plenty of course we still have to remember that we have to land there uh, in VTOL mode let me reduce up my power a little bit more because we're still gaining speed I don't need that much speed Yeah, that was weird. Hey, so doing that. Okay, 448. That's... Yeah, that's fine. 450. Speed! And now it's increasing because we have a tailwind. That's actually really nice. I can reduce my power even more. And whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm in AR mode way too long. I have to be careful about that. Because we know what happened last time. And we mean... We're at almost two kilometers, which I think most of the mountain ranges don't reach that, but some of them do. And because we're going across this, well, I don't know, tiny continent, or maybe it's a big island, um, we have to be careful. That's nice, the speed. You can see on the left where the uh, velocity is. That little bar that's going up to 35, 40 now, that's the that's the wind speed aiding us. And we are just passing regular transit over here. Gotta make sure every now and then that the ski level is still where it is. We're uh, pretty much holding altitude for now. I want to do a slight correction to the right. It would help if you had a uh, bearing in degrees as well. because while we are going mostly towards our target oh yeah there we go two kilometers um, because we are going close uh, mostly towards our target the closer we get the more of a uh, error we'll have because we're not going straight towards it so I'm going to reduce my altitude just slightly because the ski level is going to be lowering even though it's already at about two kilometers so I don't know maybe let's keep background increasing dangerous radiation levels will be encountered above two kilometers okay so I guess the yellow stuff is gonna come down to like 1800 and the red stuff will be at two kilometers that's excellent gotta make sure that we're not gonna crash into a mountain because now we're gonna yeah now we're at uh, at the island here I'm just gonna call it an island. I mean, it's too tiny to be really a continent, I suppose, but I don't know what kind of a backstory all this has. So now we have to be careful. You can see that the uh, warning level is now decreasing, so I'm gonna reduce my altitude even more a little bit. And now we're getting to some high mountain ranges. I'm gonna have to keep switching between... We're at half... 
uh, battery capacity. I'm gonna have to keep switching between uh, AR mode and non-AR mode. And some. Oh my God! I cannot see anything. Key level is still decreasing. Oh jeez, that's not gonna be good. Well, there's no way to really go around it now. We're gonna take some damage here. Oh, cyclone is passed. Everything is calm now. <laughs> that was interesting. We uh, didn't get damaged by that, thankfully. We've got a 180 kilometers range ish, less really, and that is 80 kilometers. Ooh, it's gonna be tight though. Tight. Overcast. Visibility significantly reduced. And the ski level is still decreasing. Oh, this is gonna be tight. I think we'll have to uh, land at power plant. I don't want to increase my power a little bit. Yeah, we'll have to go to the power plant and uh, recharge. Because we're getting mighty low on energy, even for the power plant, I think. So see, you can bank, but because you have no rudder, you're not really changing your uh, bearing. I mean, your heading. It, it's just... come on. So you have to pull up on your yaw. I mean... Is it yaw or the pitch? I can't remember. All right, let's uh, let's decrease our power here. Oh shoot! I should uh, not be there. We go. Okay, so we are over the sea. So which one would be easier to land in? I think power plant. I don't know. We'll see. So I want to stay above 170 meters a second because we're quite heavy, and that's. You can see that it's uh, decreasing. The that's not the stall speed. That's the uh, lift speed. Bef below that, you'll start losing um, altitude quite quickly. But now we're quite close. So I want to bleed some altitude and some speed, and just convert both into distance for now. So now I have to be careful because I'm actually losing quite a lot of speed. Uh, he says, and then pulls back on the stick. This thing is not a very good, um... Not a very good, uh, sailboat. I mean, sailboat. Not a very good glider. Because you can see that I pitched down and I was still both losing speed and losing a lot of altitude. Okay. But well, that makes sense. I mean, it's a heavy ship. Excellent. That was very nicely positioned, actually. Ground effect always uh, catches me off guard a little bit because suddenly your thrust is a lot more potent and it blows you away. There we go. Do not look at that 10 tons of recharging, and we're not at empty yet. That's insane. Wow, wow. <laughs> that sound effect is cool. Alright, let's see where that guy wants to go. To Concord. Not interested in that. Alright, so we keep going. We're quite close now to our big payday. The first time we're actually gonna pay. I'm gonna be paid that much. Come on, round effect, help me, thank you. Oh jeez, yeah. Quite heavy. It's not it's not that the engines aren't powerful enough. Six tons wouldn't normally be a lot for this ship with these engines, but because we have these huge capacity batteries. Uh, and the fact that the charge in the batteries actually weighs, so I'm guessing it's like hydrogen or something, even though it doesn't look like when you're charging, that is the reason why, um, this is a little bit precarious, but there we go, 
this is the reason why uh, we're having such trouble actually um, gaining altitude in VTOL mode. Power! I don't know what he lost at the beginning. He lost his emerald something? And then they were complaining about how that's an everyday job, getting stuff from A to B. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, radar 63%. We need to repair our Betsy here. You can see that with a headwind there, even though we're at 370 uh, power thrust, we're only going 383 meters a second. So, uh, big. Uh, Big difference. Okay, I can actually slow down a little bit now. Slow down a lot now. Let's do it like this. I'll try to keep the altitude and just bleed the speed. I think I should have. Uh, Shut off my engines a long time ago, actually. And there we go. I think, yeah. Flaps don't work at these these speeds. They don't like it one bit. I just have to go into VTOL mode now. And slow down by using more power. I like this quarry. That looks so cool. Dear, come on, full power, full power, full power, full power. I need full power. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, Woo. Thank you, flying spaghetti monster. That was uh. Whew. I. That's why I didn't go for the runway because I knew I would be uh, crashing into it. Oh, come on. Sorry, crane. Why did they put the crane there? Man, this thing is heavy. Alright, are you ready for a big payday? I know I am. Uh, 123,814 credits. Uh, thank you very much. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Oh, feels good. I think we need to do another water run. Woo! That was awesome. Alright, well, let's see where this thing can go. To Aslan. That's perfect, actually, but how much does it go for? Because that's... And this uh, presi Presiodimium... Uh, Presiodimium also goes there. So let, let us check for how much each go. So this goes for 37,000 and is 8 tons. It's not very good. And this goes for 62,000. Uh, 62, and it's 4 tons. So it's a no-brainer. I mean, it is more expensive though, but... Uh, there, we'll set Aslan as our uh, target, which is perfect because we'll need to recharge there anyway. And we'll also need to repair, but oh well, for now. It is quite fragile, this thing, though. So we'll have to be careful about bad weather and such. Quite fragile. Okay, we've already set the uh, target there. Let's exit. We could always... Oh, 60%. We could always um, call for repair drones. This is a very short... Take off uh, runway. I don't like that. I'm just gonna take off the old VTOL way. The old VTOL way. And this is now four tons, so it's not as heavy as that water we were carrying. Man, I love this game so much. 
the music, the, the whole... The whole frontier feeling, I think, is just nice. She's gonna get drunk? Okay, now I, I can be stupid and just change to flight mode here. We're gonna lose some altitude if I'm not careful. Boom, perfect. Alright, so the ski level is pretty high, I believe. Three kilometers, they said. So let's get up there. And enjoy the tailwind again. Nice. Oh, high level of ski. Right. Okay, so let's reduce our thrust for now. We're gonna have to... Yeah, look at it decreasing quickly. Oh, Jesus, it's decreasing quickly. Look at that. What did it say? How much? I, I can't remember. We'll just follow the uh, AR thing. No, come on. I have to wait for the menu thingy on the bottom left. It's still decreasing, it seems. <laughs> oh, that's not very good. We're losing speed now because we're so low. Too much air resistance. That doesn't quite go towards our plans, but we still have 170 kilometers to go, and our range at this speed is around 300. So we should be fine. Unfortunately, there are some... Uh, Mountains here, we have to be careful about. Oh, yeah, the big crater. Come on, increase the speed. Oof. That's awesome. Please, power! More power! That's decreasing our range a lot. <laughs> That's quite alarming. Oh, 240 now. I thought it was 150 before. Once again, drifting away from our intended heading. Um, that tailwind is really nice. It's not the strongest, but uh, still nice. Saves us a little bit of energy. We're gaining a little bit of altitude, which I don't want. So I'll just level it out. And now we're getting to some dangerous areas here. We are very, we are going very fast and very low. 800 meters. Oh, this is this is bad. This uh, mountain's coming in, and the ski level is so low. Oh, this is dangerous. If we lose power now, we're dead. Protective circuit, brilliant. Oh, this is this is bad actually. This is really bad. I have to go into VTOL mode because the uh, I don't have AR mode now. I cannot go above these mountains because the dangerous ski level is right there. Oh, thank you. Now, you, now you go up. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Okay. It's Fifteen seconds to restore systems. Come on. We'll need to land somewhere, repair and recharge. Our engines actually can't keep up. Oh, right, right. There we go. Skill level is still pretty... Yeah, it's increasing. You see that? The tips of the mountains, you can see how it's increasing. Okay, uh, I think we'll land at Bori there. Forecast the strong winds. <laughs> the hell, what else? The p okay, we can safely increase our altitude quite a bit now. I like that a lot. We might actually be able to get to Astlin. Just like this. Look at that. Gotta make sure there's no horrible mountains here in the way. Oh, come on, show me. I'm really sorry about... Oh, bloody hell! 
Oh, that's that's bad because it's going to damage the the water. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's damaging it. It's damaging it. Whoa. Jeez. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was so bad. I don't like this sudden transition. Oh, shoot. Full power. Okay, we're fine. I really don't like the sudden transition of weather. That gave me zero time to react. Absolutely zero time. Okay, we need to get... We damaged the tritium water, unfortunately, a little bit, but it doesn't matter. That's It's not really Im that important. It's a nice little paycheck for where we're going. Oh, jeez, we're... F oh, man, we're low on energy now. Let's do this. Yeah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. I'm just panicking without reason. Yeah, but... I think uh, we won't be able to sell it for ju as much as uh, we uh, could otherwise. But like I said, it doesn't matter. It's only a nice little bonus to where we're going. It's the water we really care about from, uh, from the starting island. And that water is pretty much bulletproof because it's water. Which is pretty interesting if you think about it. I mean, have you ever thought about how water is this indestructible thing, in a way? I mean, obviously, you know, all, all matter can change states, whether it's solid, gas, or, or liquid, or whatever, but... Um, I mean, if you build something, obviously, <laughs> you can't build it out of water, but... You can pretty much do anything with water. I don't know how water would react at really catastrophically high Gs. I mean, would would it be possible to have such high forces, such high gravitational forces on it that it would just rip? I suppose it would. I mean, I suppose it would just rip the atoms apart at that point. But we're talking about insane forces. But yeah, it's kind of weird if you think about it. It's pretty much indestructible. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Where uh, Betsy is hurting a little bit. I don't think this passengers goes anywhere we really want them to go. Yeah, they don't. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.